Hello everyone! Nandito na naman si Peter Karen para magturo sa inyo. So hello sa mga estudyante ko at sa mga nanonood. Salamat po sa pag-subscribe at naway uh, magustuhan ninyo ang aking mga itinod. Maraming salamat po. Don't forget to like, share, and comment po. Then subscribe and hit the bell para manotipan ninyo yun. Doon sa mga Mag-comment. Maraming salamat po. So ngayon, ang ituturo ko ngayon ay tungkol sa constant variables and algebraic expression. So, bago po ang lahat, i-describe muna natin kung ano yung algebra. So, what is algebra? Algebra is the branch of mathematics characterized by the use of variables and operations relating this variable. Constant is any symbols representing one fixed value. A variable naman, any letter or symbol that may change its value in a particular situation. Yung constant po, yan po yung mga numbers. And then po yung variable naman, yan yung mga letters from A to Z. Yung term is a number, a variable, and or a product of numbers and var variables. These are separated by plus or minus sign. So, mamaya, isa-isa yun natin kung ano yung constant, kung ano yung va variables, at kung ano yung term. So, term naman, siya yung pinagtamang number, variable, o numbers and variables. Sa, kaya lang, mas separate siya ng plus or Ang numerical coefficient naman is the number part of an algebraic term. So, mamaya, may ipapaliwanag ko rin. Yan. And the literal coefficient is the letter of product of letters of an algebraic term. Algebraic expression is a combination of numbers and letters with signs or operations and or grouping symbols. Example, para mas lalo natin maintindihan. Ang example po ng algebraic expression ay 3x squared plus 5y minus 7. Ang constant po dyan, o yung numbers, ay yung 3, 5, and negative 7. Ang variables naman dyan ay x and y. And then yung constant term po niya dyan, yung constant term, wala po siyang kasama variables or letters. That is negative 7. Hindi na po kasali si 3 and 5 kasi meron siyang kasamang mga variables. And the number of terms, ibig sabihin, ilan yung terms na nasa algebraic expression. So, ito yung algebraic expression. So, bilangin natin kung ilan yung terms. 1, 2, Matatandaan ninyo na banggit ko na ang terms ay separated by plus or minus. So, in this algebraic expression, we have three number of terms. Then, numerical coefficient. Ang numerical coefficient, si 3 and 5 lang siya. Kasi, ang numerical coefficient, yun yung mga numbers na may kasama variables. Since kanina, yung constant term, eto siya lang yung walang kasamang variable or exponent. Kaya, siya yung nandito sa constructor. Pag numerical coefficient naman, sila yung numbers na may kasamang variables. And then, literal coefficient naman po, sila yung variables with exponent. So, x squared and y. I hope na naintindihan yun na kung ano yung constant, ano yung algebraic expression, ano yung variable, ano yung constant term, ano yung number of terms, numerical coefficient, and literal coefficient. Okay, another example. Let's identify the variables, constant, and constant term in the following expression. Okay, so meron tayong apat na columns. So, we have the first column is the algebraic expression. The, the, per, the second column is the constant, and then third, variable, and then third. For example, we have 2x as algebraic expression. Ang constant 2 dyan ay 2. Pero pag sinabing constant term, 
wala siyang kasama ang variable. So, tinan natin. Kung ang variable naman yan ay x, sa constant term, wala siya. Kasi, wala naman sa algebraic expression na binigay na mayroong constant term o number na walang kasamang variable. Okay, next po. 5y cubed minus 7y plus 2. Ang constant po dyan ay 5, negative 7, and 2. Ang variable po na nakikita natin dyan ay y lang naman. And then, ang constant term po niya ay positive. Hindi na po sinusulat yung positive pag nagigisa lang pag kapatid. And then, another example, 7ab minus 4a squared b plus 9. So, ang constant po dyan ay 7, negative 4, plus 9. Ang variable po dyan na nakikita nyo ay n, b. And then, ang constant term dyan is yung positive 9. Next po, 2mn over 5. So, ang constant po dyan ay 2p. And then, yung variable po dyan ay m and saka n. Ang constant term po dyan ay wala. Kasi, meron, mag, ano po ito eh, automatic po ito ay magkasama. Next example, let's identify the literal coefficient numerical coefficient, and the number of terms in the following expression. So, we have also four columns here. The first column is the algebraic expression. The second is numerical coefficient. The third one is literal coefficient. And the fourth one is number of terms. Okay, 2x. Ang numerical coefficient po dyan ay 2. Tandaan nyo, ang numerical coefficient, siya po yung number o constant na may kasama variable. So, since 2x po yan, so 2 is the numerical coefficient, and then x the, the literal coefficient. Kung ilan ang terms niya, that is 1. Nag-iisa lang na magkita. Kaya po siya. At ilang plus or minus. Nakasunod niya. The next po, 5y cube minus Y. Ang, lit, ang numerical coefficient po dyan ay 5 and negative 7. And then, ang literal coefficient na ay y cube and y. Pag literal coefficient, kanina yung variable, variable lang, ay, hindi na sinasama si exponent. Pero pag sinabi yung literal coefficient, kasama po si exponent. And then, ang number of terms na ay dalawa. Isa terms. Next po, 7ab minus 4ab, 4a squared b plus 9. So, ang numerical coefficient na ay dalawa lang, 7 and negative 4. Kasi si 9, wala naman siyang kasama ang variable. And then, ang literal coefficient po dyan ay ab at saka a squared b. Then, ang number of terms na ay 1, 2, and 3. So, 3 terms. Next po, how about this one? So, ang numerical coefficient po dyan ay 2, 2 fifth. Ang literal po niya ay mn. Kung ano po yung itsura niya, yung po talaga yung ilalagay sa literal coefficient. And then, kung ilang term siya, that is also 1. Note, a constant term is a term with no variable factors. It is a term whose value never changes. Component or power is included when identifying a literal coefficient. If the variable has no number written beside it, remember that the numerical coefficient is 1. Kapag nakikita nyo variable lang or letters lang, for example, A lang, automatic ang numerical coefficient nun at ang exponent nun ay 1. Invisible position. Okay, let us practice. So, we have six columns here. So, we need to identify the constant, the variable, the constant terms, the numerical and literal coefficient. Okay, for x squared, the constant there is 4. The variable is x. The constant term is 9. So, wala naman na ang sama yan. The numerical coefficient is 4 and the literal is 
magiging negative 5xy, ang constant po dyan ay negative 5, ang variable dyan is x and y, and then none, ang constant term kasi wala namang number lang dyan. And then ang numerical niya is negative 5, and ang literal niya is xy. And then 2m plus 3n minus 3. So, ang constant po dyan is 2, 3, and negative 3. Pag ang variable naman niya is m at constant terms niya is negative 3. Ang numerical niya is 2 and 3. And then, ang literal coefficient niya is 10. 3xy over 2. So, ang constant niya is 3 half. Variable niya is x and y. Constant terms niya wala. Nan. And then, ang numerical coefficient niya is 3 half. And then, ang literal niya is xy. So, Yun po yung lesson natin na constant variables and algebraic expressions. So, we proceed here for the reflections. So, napag-usapan natin kanina about the In this uh, pandemic na nararanasan natin ngayon sa ating bansa at sa buong mundo, we need to have a constant prayer. So, in Romans 12.12, be constant in prayer. So, huwag tayong uh, manginawa or patuloy tayong manalangin sa Panginoon at darating ang panahon na matatapos din itong pandemic. So, maraming salamat sa inyo and God bless. Salamat po sa lahat na nag-subscribe at doon sa mga hindi nag-subscribe. Okay. Ayaw, maraming